welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Shirley also known as Backtalk and I do anything Disney and today I have a mini haul we went thrifting uh, to the store called Bookman's here in Arizona I forgot where I lived for a minute there um, and there's a couple there's three in Tucson and two in the Phoenix area and we love it um, it's I don't know if I want to call it thrifting um, kind of thrifting kind of trading what it is is you can go and take books cds movies kitschy stuff pop figures pins jewelry instruments uh board games puzzles anything you can think of almost even t-shirts we've been seeing a lot of t-shirts but you can take it and trade it and you can get money for your stuff or you can get trade or like credit for their stores so it's really cool almost like a pawn shop if you want to think about it that way but just with like pop culture items um really awesome i got some footage for the, for you so you can see what it looks like and if you're ever in this region i would highly recommend you check one out because it's good prices it's kind of like small business kind of i mean i know i have the, they have five stores but it's still like supporting small business compared to like big retail stores anyways let's get to it i have a couple pins a couple stickers a couple pops let's hear all about it i'm just gonna start in the order that i see it so the first thing I have is this Luca, Luca, Lucasfilm Fan Club Star Wars patch. My husband really liked it. Um, it was just a dollar and that's it. And you just patch it on. So I will be patching this on to something. I don't know why. I, he just asked me if I could try it. I'm like, I can try it. <laughs> uh, the next thing I have is this sticker. Also a dollar. I feel, I feel good in this Chili's tonight. I am not going to tell you where this is from, but if you know, let me know in the comments. Um, I'm, I should have read it differently. I feel God in this chilies tonight. Hopefully that helps you, but um, it's my favorite show. And then the next one I have is look at all those chickens. I really, really like this sticker. Um, my husband and my brothers were really big into vines. And look at all those chickens. It's one like soundbite that I really enjoyed. It's just so catchy. So I also got that. And then now let's move on to the pins. So the pins are very in price. And I try to check that they are Disney official and they're not like random trader pins. But most of them are just Disney official. So this one is like a Tiki Donald Duck. If you know what collection it's from or if it's not called Tiki, uh, let me know. But that's kind of what it looks like. It's just little Donald Duck. This one was $4. It has a little Mickey backings. I always look for the Mickey backings whenever I'm looking into the pins. And I also always look to see what the back looks like because usually I can tell what it's going to be just based on the back. So really, really cute for $4. It's going to go great with all the Donald Ducks. I really like Donald Duck. Uh, the next pin that I have is this uh, pineapple one. I thought it was just really, really cute. Um, we finally got to go to the Polynesian Resort. So this kind of reminded me of that. The Mickey in the middle is kind of bothering me though because it's not yellow like the other ones and i don't know if that's on purpose if it got scratched off so it bothers me a little bit you'll have to let me know so this one was six dollars and again it has a little mickey backing and then the back looks pretty official it says four out of four hidden mickey pins so maybe it is supposed to be gray if it's supposed to be from like the hidden mickey collection so very cute uh six dollars but i haven't mentioned this yet if you're a teacher you get 20 percent off and i believe they also have military discount and it's not just on like educational stuff it's 20 percent off everything like absolutely everything so it's really really awesome so we had credit because we sold pops and we sold books and cds and we use that credit towards all of this so it's just nice like going back and forth and the next thing i have is spaceship earth and i already took the backing off of this one i don't know why i took it off so fast i guess when i was talking um but it looks like this it's spaceship earth um we love epcot we really love it this was six dollars um we love just hanging around, eating, just having a really chill day. And I know Epcot is very controversial if people like it or not. We absolutely love it. We love going around like the different countries. We love eating and drinking around the world. And yes, the rides are okay. I'm not a big fan of a test track myself, actually. Let me know what your favorite ride at Epcot is. I actually really like the Frozen because I like to sing. I just don't want to wait in that line. I don't think it's worth the line. We haven't done Remy yet, but we did it in Disney Paris and I hear and it looks exactly the same and we were also okay about it. I, it's a cute ride, but I wouldn't wait, wait too, too long. Um, and then, so I don't know what my favorite ride would be. I, I maybe Frozen if it has a short line or 
drinking around the world, does that count as an attraction? <laughs> All right, so this next one that I already took the pin back for was $10 at Bookman's. And this one, I don't know if it's, an, uh, oh, it's not an actual Disney pin. This is a thick pin. And this is one that my husband bought because I did not know what it was. I guess it's King of Hearts or something like that. He got it for one of our friends and he thought he would really like it. Interestingly enough, it comes with Mickey backings. Um, even though it's a uh, fig pin, if you know fig pins, let me know. Like I said, I recently started collecting pins. I am not a pin collector, as you can clearly tell. I have a little bit here and there and there, but that's it. I don't have like any huge collections or anything like that. So, um, yeah. Okay, the next things I have, so those are all the Disney pins. The next thing I have is stickers. So there's two stickers that were each $3. So one sticker is my husband's. I believe it's Han Solo, but it's like... Um, like Dia de los Muertos style and it looks like it's from Miss Nopales um, and that's their Instagram and they like I said Bookman supports local artists and um, this we bought this one in Tucson but I've seen these in uh, Phoenix as well so I just love that they buy from local artists and it's this they have jewelry earrings and sometimes they even put like who the local artist is which is awesome and then this one I got I don't know if I'll actually put it on anything I think it was an impulse buy but it's just this concha monster and he's eating conchas which is super super cute and on here it says um or it doesn't say anything it's elmo the only thing that bothers me is his eyes i know his eyes do that but i wish they were just normal i don't know it really freaks me out um and then i also didn't realize that he had like a tattoo of um the virgin mary in his chest so i don't know if i'm actually gonna do anything with the sticker um yeah definitely an impulse buy for sure okay the next things that i have are funko pops and um i will say my husband bought quite a bit they had a collection in one of the bookmans we went to three and uh he bought the gears of war he bought like five i'll insert a picture of them here but um i know nothing about it so i was like if i unbox it like what am i gonna say <laughs> because i don't know what it is is it an xbox game playstation game is it actually about war no idea. So I just picked the ones that I bought or the ones that I actually knew what they were. So the first one is this uh, stitch. It's an Aloha stitch. It's a Hot Topic exclusive. They had a lot of stitches. So I'm assuming the same person went and sold all their stitches. Um, I really like stitch. I used to love stitch. Stitch used to be like my favorite character. I've outgrown him a little bit, but I still think he's really, really cute. And I still have some stitch stuff. As you can see, he's right there in the little backpack. So I still think he's really adorable. But now that they came out with like other movies, I've started to like develop likings for other things. Now this one was a bit expensive. They had the Valentine's Day stitch as well, and they had um, Elvis stitch. So like I said, they just, I think, had a bit. But the Valentine's Day stitch was like $55. This was $35. Now again, with 25% off, take, take away what? Six, seven dollars So it's still 28 for like a normal one. I did like Google it before I bought it, and it looks like that's what it was going for on like Amazon and things like that. So... I mean, I had the store credit, I had the 20% off, so it ended up working out for me, and I think he's really, really cute. I do think he has taken out of the box before, and he does look a little scruffed up in the back, so I don't know what kind of beach he was going into, but his tail is pretty cute. Um, and you do have to be a little bit careful when you buy them, and just make sure everything's good. I bought um, Tomatao, Matameo, Matamao, <laughs> the shiny from Moana, Tomatao. Moatini. I don't, don't have to help me out. But um, I bought him and one of his like little antlers was broken. They were, they're were really good about returns too. You can return these items. So just check them. I think he's good. He's fine. He's so cute. So there's a little stitch and he's going to be out of the box. And that's going to bother you. I'm sorry. But I want him to like, you know, hang out with friends. Uh, the next one I'm not going to take out of the box because it's not mine. So this is WandaVision in the 70s. And they also had uh, Vision in the 50s. Or was it, I don't know, they had a vision. I don't remember which vision. But my husband just bought this one again. I think it's because um, one of our friends was looking for it. Uh, so she was $18, again, 20% off. So not bad. And it's her in her pregnancy. Uh, very, very cute. Did you like the show? I know at first we were like, what's going on? But then when J Jim appeared, I started liking it. <laughs> okay, the next thing I got is Sirius Black. Um, if you've seen my last haul and if you haven't, um, you'll, I'll link it below. 
but in my last haul i bought snape and i bought um who else? Oh, Ron Weasley. And uh, I regretted not buying Sirius. So when we went back, I was like, please have him, please have him. And they did. He's already out of the box. So that's kind of what he looks like, his little hair. He is holding his wand. He has a really cute outfit, just like in the movie. Look at this wave. Look at the detail. So cute. He was just $3. Awesome, awesome prize. I think it's because he was already out of the box. And uh, yeah. So the next thing I have, which is one of the big ones, I only have two things left, is the Weasley twins and Genie. Um, uh, when they go to Quidditch, to like the World Cup of Quidditch. World Cup? Yeah. Um, and I love that scene. I love the scene in the movie. I love the scene in the book. I love that book in particular. And I already had bought Ron. Again, you can see him in one of my previous hauls. We bought him at the uh, Hollywood Funko Pop shop, which I have a ton of videos if you want to watch them. I'll also link them below. And um, I don't have any Weasley twins. And I love the twins. I feel like they're such a big part of the book. And they're also a big part of the movie, but not as much as I would want. But anyways, so I had to go in and buy them. They were really expensive though they were $75 I know a little crazy I know I'm sorry um, but I googled it and I couldn't find them and then the places I could find them again they were in around the same price so I think Bookman does a good job of like trying to match online and I had the 25 or the 20% off I had store credit so it was just right it felt right I don't think they've been taken out of the box honestly because it still has a sticker and I don't know that I am gonna take them out of the box it just depends what I end up doing with them because right now I have like a little Harry Potter village on top of here that you can't see. And I don't know how I want to set it up. I have a lot of Rons. I have a lot of Weasleys. I think I have the whole family now. I'm just missing the pop and the mom. But um, yeah, I don't know what I want to do with them. And I do have the Ron that went to the Quidditch. So he's wearing the other colors. Um, So that's super cool. Maybe I can get like Harry in his outfit too. But yeah, I don't know. Would you take them out of the box? I I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. Let me know. Uh, was 75 too much? Probably. Okay, and then this last thing, which is the thing that I am the most excited about. Well, I don't know about the most. I'm pretty excited about um, the Weasley Twins. It is this pin set. And it is so cool. So this is, it was in one of the, uh, like, locked boxes where you have to get someone to come open it for you and i'm gonna take the cell phone home. it was 30 dollars which again sounds like a lot but i believe that's probably how much they would be because pins are pretty expensive already in the parks now these are not this disney parks uh pins but this is the d23 official disney fan club celebrating 50 most magical years of the walt disney world now i don't know i'm gonna have to do some research on this because i don't know if you when you join the fan club you get them i don't know if you can buy them by being part of the fan club i have no clue somebody would have to like enlighten me because there's no backing there's no like barcode so i'm assuming you get these no idea if you were part of the fan club let me know but i really really wanted it because it's uh disney world right so we have the orange bird i really love figment so Figment. he's gonna go great with my other figment and then the rest of them i don't really know i'm assuming this is spaceship earth right it looks like spaceship earth and he is behind um like epcot i believe this is yeti from um adventures of avatar <laughs> um you know what i'm talking about hopefully help me out and then um I don't, I don't know who this is who is this is this a bear from magic kingdom from like the bear show i've never seen the bear show so you'll have to help me out i didn't check the backings of this i just said okay and i bought it um but in the back it looks like it says d23 and um that's it and it has a little mickey backing but yeah let me know if you know anything about these i just got them as an impulse <laughs> i had the credit i had the discount i said why not and yeah that's it so that's my haul hopefully it's not too too long i hope you enjoyed it let me know what your favorite thing is again these stores are located in tucson and phoenix arizona i'm sure there are stores like this near you because i feel like pops and pins are like going crazy right now and everywhere um and then don't forget to subscribe it really helps out my channel and you get to see more content like this and then we're gonna have uh trips to disneyland and disney world upcoming soon so you'll get to see all of that but i hope you have a magical day and until next time adios